So today we are going to be looking at the 108 megapixel versus the binning mode, the 12 megapixel. So just to uh, let you guys uh, take a look at my software is the point 98, the latest update, which technically I have a Snapdragon. So it uh, improved the autofocus on the picture side a bit, not a lot. And uh, whereas it uh, actually made the video recording autofocus worse. So uh, yeah, Samsung, you have to fix this as soon as possible. So let's go ahead uh, into file size. So on the right, we have all the S20 pictures uh, at the 108 megapixel. And on the left, we have all at the 12 megapixel binning. So looking at the file size uh, here in daylight, uh, if you take a look, uh, it's uh, typically 43 megabyte, the first picture. And at nighttime, for example, this one here, the file size goes uh, down to 16.7 uh, megabyte. And for the binning uh, on the left, the daylight picture, the first one, the file size is 7.09 megabyte. And uh, for the nighttime, the file size uh, goes down to 4.54 uh, megabytes. So definitely the file size is uh, much bigger in the daylight because it uh, captures a uh, lot of details, which I'm gonna get to shortly. On the left, we have the bin Binning like uh, 12 megapixel and on the right we have the 108 megapixel in daylight and let's understand the details here so technically I'm gonna zoom in on the for the 108 and I'm gonna zoom in on the 12 and you can clearly see the difference so 108 uh, you can see all these uh, small details whereas the binning mode does not uh, capture all those details. Uh, uh, whereas if we uh, take a look at the top here, um, you can definitely see the back as well. It's uh, much more detailed, the 108 megapixel. So daytime, for sure, the 108 megapixel is the best way to go. The 12 megapixel binning mode doesn't have any advantage here. These are the second set of picture and on the right is the 108 uh, megapixel mode and on the left is the 12 megapixel binning. So when looking at it like this, you may uh, say that the left might be a bit uh, better when it comes to uh, like uh, darker areas and so on, but let's uh, understand that. So technically, uh, the left picture, when we get into more details, we'll try to look into the writings here. Now, by the way, this was uh, fairly dark. It's inside a closet. and uh, But with uh, moderate light, I would say like uh, uh, light level should be around sunset level. And uh, so if you uh, take a look at the two pictures side by side, I still think that the right, uh, the 108 megapixel uh, took much more detail, especially when you look at the writings. It's a bit more legit, but uh, the, the difference is not a lot here. So now we have the third set of picture and uh, the, it's a typical indoor uh, with uh, light coming on the left hand side from the window. So we are going to again try to look into the details here to see if there is any advantage of the 108 megapixel. And there is a little bit of advantage, guys. So whenever there is light, for sure the 12 megapixel binning uh, is not the way to go. It should be the 108 megapixel. Then we have the next uh, set of pictures. Uh, it's a uh, more darker than what the two pictures uh, have uh, brought up here and for sure uh, the cameras are able to capture more uh, details than uh, the actual lighting there so uh, this one uh, again let's take a look if binning has any type of uh, advantage and there is none again the 108 megapixel will be the better choice even in typical um, uh, lighting condition within your home and uh, just to understand, I am just gonna go down a bit. And even uh, these details here, if you zoom in on the left, if 
for sure the 108 megapixel is a better choice. For this picture, I was uh, locked in inside the closet. I was inside the closet. It was very dark. Uh, the cameras took uh, much uh, more uh, details than my eyes could see. So we just want to see if uh, now the binning has an advantage and it looks like it does. So the 108 uh, megapixel is a bit uh, too grainy. Uh, whereas in dark situation, that's when the binning mode will be a better option. Uh, at least at, for this picture, we're going to look into this more. The next set of picture, it was a very tricky one. The, it was a very bright day. The sunlight was very high. So uh, when you first take a look at these two pictures, the left one looks uh, to be more better with the exposure. The right one looks to be much more exposed with the lights. But we will understand this, uh, whether if it's just uh, overexposed or if it's just uh, details. So let's understand this, guys. It looks like uh, there definitely is a lot of details on the right hand side. And let's understand this further. You can clearly see the grass here and you can see the grass is, a, uh, is just uh, darkened. That's why when it was zoomed out, the left picture looked better. But when you zoom in, you can see that it's basically pure details here. Now, definitely, uh, let's see what uh, we can do to uh, make this uh, picture a bit better. So for this one, I will uh, get the exposure down a bit. That would be a nice picture. And I'll do the same for the 12 megapixel binning. And it just gets too dark. So there you have it, guys. So the next set of pictures, uh, again, if you take a look uh, at the white area here, it looks to be more uh, lighter than uh, on the binning side. So you may say that, uh, well, the left one looks a bit uh, more uh, natural compared to uh, on the right. Uh, the, the light areas are more uh, uh, lighted, whereas the darker areas are more uh, dark. The reason is the same as the last picture, guys. It's just uh, when, uh, when you're on your screen, when it's uh, zoomed out. So technically, the details may show as, uh, as a more... Uh, um, uh, like uh, either too light or too dark but it's just details it's pure details that's what it is and when you uh, zoom in you can definitely see that these areas these are the over like uh, uh, the thing you call like uh, over sharpening whereas there is no sharpening here it's pure details on the right hand side so now it's a uh, night uh, time like it was more uh, darker than what you see here and uh, I have a feeling the binning mode will win this time, not the 108 mode. Let's take a look. Let's understand this. Maybe a bit uh, more uh, better on the binning at night time. I'll try to get a picture of the street name. Yeah, for sure. Nighttime, it's uh, the the binning mode is a better option. We're gonna look into more of uh, night photos. The next set of picture, uh, nighttime. So uh, on the left, let's find out what is going on here. So left is the binning, right is the hundred and eight. Uh, this one, I think the hundred and eight did a better job here. So I can clearly see this number here, C1, C4, G, whereas on the left, so yeah, this one, uh, I would uh, give it to the 108 uh, mode, not the beginning. The next set of picture, another night picture. So uh, let's understand the details here. I'll try to read this uh, sign here. I'll do the same on the 108 version. Yeah, I know for sure the binning did a better job this time. 
And here is the dedicated night mode on the right uh, compared against the binning on the left. What I'm going to do is I will try to work on this to understand the difference. Looks like uh, there is a little bit of um, uh, over sharpening going on on the dedicated night mode. But overall, no smart cameras, even DL sellers, they take that great night pictures. So it's uh, these uh, night pictures are not uh, nothing compared to uh, the daytime pictures typically. Next set of picture again another night mode. This time again, it's the 108 and uh, 12 megapixel binning, just to understand the difference. And let's try to read the signs. Uh, again, the binning did a bit better job here. Like I would say 10% uh, to 15%, uh, not even 15%, uh, so around 5 to 10% extra details it captures compared to 108 megapixel mode based on these samples. This next pic uh, set of pictures, guys, I really wanted to show you guys. Uh, this was a day like it was a cloudy day with uh, less light and it's an outdoor picture and uh, typically when we looked we saw that these trees were more uh, uh, the details were more captured on the binning mode uh, better than the 108 but i want to understand this and also to show you guys what's going on here so i'm gonna increase the light level here i will do the same for the binning mode And let's look into these details. So uh, what we can see here is the micro details, the small details are captured more on the 108 megapixel, whereas the binning mode, the, what it does, it, it does, because the pixel size is bigger, it does a little bit of sharpening to give it a much better look but if you take a look on this uh, like on top of this uh, uh, like fences here you can clearly see that there is more details on the 108 but uh, trees typically because uh, the 108 captures more uh, more of the leaves and that's why it looks like a mess but it's not it's just more details that's what I wanted you guys to see in this picture and uh, that's uh, and another thing we're gonna look at is uh, so on the shed so you can clearly see uh, this um, um, like hanger here uh, much more details on the 108 megapixel and uh, also the lock if you take a look at the lock there is uh, much more details so doesn't matter like which uh, um, in daylight doesn't matter like uh, how the original picture comes up to be the 108 megapixel most of the time will uh, capture a better picture that with much more details that you can edit later this next set of uh, pictures uh, they are basically a close-up and uh, when you look at them side by side I don't see any difference uh, at least when they're zoomed out but we're gonna zoom in and do we see differences? Just uh, more fine details are uh, captured here whereas uh, because of the bigger pixel size on the left hand side uh, some of the dark spots looks bigger some of the um, uh, like uh, smooth areas looks uh, more smooth but yes again the 108 megapixel when you zoom in you can clearly see it captures those fine details in much more clarity which uh, definitely you can see the difference now so there is a little bit of over sharpening 
on the left hand side in the binning mode it's actually not sharpening it's just all the nine pixels together forms a bigger darker spot compared to a smaller darker spot or a, a bigger lighter spot com uh, compared to a, a smaller light spot so it's technically the the small microns of 0 0.8 uh, gives an advantage to the 108 megapixel camera that it can capture those tiny details uh, because of the smaller uh, micron the smaller 0 0.8 micron size the next set of picture guys uh, so technically uh, when i first look at it for sure the left looks better but again we're gonna go into details to understand this so i'm gonna zoom in and once again guys you can see the power button here it's so clear compared to on the left hand side because of the 12 megapixel uh, binning mode uh, the the pixel size is bigger 2.4 so all this uh, bigger pixel um, you have more um, uh, sharpening here uh, whereas on the right hand side it's tiny fine details of 0 0.8 microns so technically even though uh, at first it looked better on the left in the beginning uh, when we zoom in the story changes and so i'm gonna zoom in again i just want to see a few things here guys so what do you think i still feel the rf button here you can't even see it on the left so yeah the this is the advantage of the 0 0.8 microns the it's so small that it can capture all the small details fine fine details so there is advantage of having a smaller um, microns in especially at daylight in my last uh, video guys i showed you guys how uh, the softwares uh, most of the softwares can't process the 108 megapixel uh, details properly i'll show you guys again here so i'm gonna open this uh, uh, picture with the photo gallery and i'm gonna take it on the left and i will open the same picture with uh, perfect with uh, the regular uh, software so I'm gonna zoom in again and you can see the differences in rendering there is uh, no comparison even so not all softwares can render this properly also if you don't have adequate hardware it's not gonna render properly either so uh, a lot of people uh, you may not have the software or hardware unfortunately i'm sorry to say so that comes to the end of this video so in summary the 108 megapixel capture more details when there is light there is no color difference in the light and the dark areas may look darker lighter areas washed out this is when the photos are zoomed out and this is due to the monitors or the displays unable to show those uh, details uh, properly since they are concentrated in very small areas but when zooming in those areas definitely looks to be fine details and uh, there are some uh, reviewers who have claimed these details as sharpening or contrast which are not correct and also small monitors are not the proper equipment to look at a 108 megapixel uh, photo 12 megapixel binning definitely have a slight advantage in night but sometimes the 108 megapixel takes better pictures your software and your hardware may be inadequate to process and render the 108 megapixel the amount of details uh, properly and also the pictures they look much more detailed when you upload in the computer compared to when you're looking at it on the uh, phone screen itself thank you for your time guys subscribe and like if you have liked this video and i will try to make more videos for you guys thank you